Hello and welcome back to yet <clears throat> another video for my TD YouTube. And in today's video, I have another philosophy. Yeah, that is basically going to be the entire week. Yeah. Um. So this philosophy actually has a contradiction. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to post the next, but whenever I'm going to post that video, this this philosophy has a contradiction, and I'll be touching upon that later. This philosophy is pheasantism yeah it's practically the atheist the atheist of philosophy uh, also again it's an odd one out this philosophy i mean by the name pheasant um again i'm going to read off my notes for the first part then i'm going to freestyle it for the rest um it's basically thinking that the here and now the present is all that matters i mean disregarding the life after death and past experiences as they are out of our control not only are they out of control but pheasantists believe that they don't exist yes the past and the future don't exist uh, okay buddy sure why not just you do you anyways this philosophy is an absurd one linked up here somewhere anyways this philosophy again is basically just believing that here and now is all that matters disregarding life after death heaven and hell and any natural or basic religious aspect of life anything you believe that's religious oh what's gonna happen we're gonna be judged because of our actions that yeah yeah it does actually you know what let me think let me think with like the, all the brain cells that I can rack up right now. <clears throat> yes, the present, it does matter. And it will be important during Judgment Day. But the part about this philosophy that contradicts religion is disregarding the future, which will eventually be Judgment Day. So, yes, it does tie in with religion and makes us understand that what we do now it matters but then it completely disregards life after death if that makes sense um so basically our eventual depending well yeah i mean majority of religions believe in heaven or hell or a place of eternal peace or in a place of internal tarnation yeah i guess you can call it that but um it completely disregards that and just states that yes everything that's happening now what you're doing now is the only thing that really matters now everything you did in the past also doesn't matter whatsoever and again that is true to an extent what you did in the past is gone like you can't really undo any of that because it's happened hasn't it you can't really you can make up with a person i guess or whatever it was depending on the situation you can find reminiscence not reminiscence sorry basically consolation to con some consolement you can console with that person i guess um or make amends with that person or whatever happened yes you can kind of fix it to an extent but saying that it, but saying it like, yes it's past and you can't really change it you can again amend it maybe potentially in the future but that is true what's happened in the past has happened in the past and you can't really change it but saying that it doesn't exist again is another thing that's really weird because yes it did exist and it did happen and saying that that was a dream or it didn't exist is not very smart also saying that it doesn't matter is also not very smart either because we learn from our past experiences without our past experiences you nor i will be the person that we are today because those experiences taught us oh do this or don't do that or when you're in this situation do that or don't do that for example you uh, okay you're cooking something you're cooking an egg and then you put your hand on the fire like oh it burned my hand now you know from that experience that was in the past even if it was 10 seconds ago in the past still past and then next time you cook an egg or boil an egg or scramble an egg whatever you do not put your hand on the fire that's just a simple 
situation really it's just a simple scenario but again it does make up as the conclusion that the past does matter the future is out of our control and apart from judgment day which majority of people believe is a complete certain i say majority because atheists atheists exists or people who are agnostic exist but because the majority of people believe in heaven and hell so yes to an extent the future of that judgment day does ex does matter but the thing i'm going to do tomorrow you have no control of it so until tomorrow it doesn't really matter so this presentism is not bad it's just to narrow it down it's a decent ideology if an aspect of it was taken out the aspect of the future and the past not existing nor mattering or nor yeah mattering ma ma yeah, yeah mattering is, mattering is word um nor mattering whatsoever so it's a decent ideology and obviously it's best to live our life in the moment and savor every single moment yes that is true but saying that the future past don't exist and don't matter is uh crazy so yes i've come to the conclusion this is a decent philosophy this philosophy is not really depressing whatsoever unlike nihilism and neither is it really an optimistic one like optimism but it some aspects and some parts don't make sense and there is a paradox to it but uh yeah i guess that really just concludes this video i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like a robot right now just talking off the uh, my brain any who's uh I, i'm gone and i hope you enjoyed today's video and not much life into it i'll actually put it that way so i'll try and uh drink some more caffeine anyway um i'm gone and as per usual peace also what are your thoughts on this present system and I, I, I have to sit back i can't lie because uh, whoa um but yeah what, what are your thoughts on presentism presentism is actually like a decent philosophy it, if it, really looking at it at its core it, it, it has some potential it has potential like it's not something that like you look at it and discard because it's too depressing or at something like anti-natalism you know wanting to commit mass genocide on the planet is like you know uh, what's the difference between someone who believes in anti-natalism and uh you know youtube forgive me hitler because you're trying to commit genocide and genocide is, is a no-no to the no-no so uh, you know yeah uh, it's not it's nothing depressing like that it's nothing contradictory it's well, not really contradictory contra contra nothing not contradictory sorry um controversial it's not really controversial like gen mass genocide but it's not really the happiest either i mean okay it's not it's not a sad and it's not it's just a general philosophy really um just believing that what you're doing right now watching my video for example or if you're well i can't really say if you're not because you are but um what you're doing in this present moment matters a lot but what we do in this present moment may spiral a ripple effect whatever you want to call it the domino effects ripple effect butterfly effect whatever it may spark a ripple effect that affects the future so p past present and future all go hand in hand and therefore this philosophy is uh if you tweak it a little bit to your own liking, it's decent. But if you don't believe that your future matters or your past matters, you do you, uh, I guess. Sorry, I just had to put that little bit in because no emotion in the video is a bit strange. And if I, you know, conceal my emotions, especially if I'm trying to be fluent or if I'm really interested in such a topic or situation or scenario or whatever or philosophy or a specific question, then I'll put my heart and soul into it, but if I'm not, then I'll just, you know. So, I'd rather not do that. But as per usual, I'm gone and uh, peace.
yeah, so I just had to do that.